In this tutorial we're going to look at how to create and save custom layouts. Once a layout has been saved it can be recalled either via a menu or hotkey. Up to six layouts can be saved. The interface is split up into panes and panes hold tabs. So let's have a look at what a pane and a tab is. So all the these are tabs here and the tabs have the titles in. So if we grab this viewer tab and then place it in this pane over here we are now left with an empty pane. And we can see that these icons, the float and cross or close icons that are in each pane, actually apply to tabs. So if I click either of these now, they're going to do, they're not going to close this pane. So if we now go to a pane that has tabs in, we can see this, let's go to the curve editor here. If I now hit the close, that will close the selected tab. To reload that tab back into this pane, I would go curve editor here or I would choose curve editor rather and now we have these three tabs again we can also reorder the tabs just by uh, clicking and dragging them so if we've now um, if we now no longer want this pane what we need to do is close it so we saw that this won't close it so the way to close it is by going into the pane menu and we can access the pane menu by this uh, grey icon here and this uh, pane icon is in each separate pane that we have. So let's go back here and say close pane. Oops, there it is. So we're on our way to making a custom layout now. So we can see that we have the properties and the viewer tabbed along here. Well that's not what I want. What I want to do is subdivide this pane. So again to the pane menu. I'm going to split it vertically and then I'm going to drag the properties tab and put it there. We're getting close now, but so let's. What I want to do is have my progress bars docked as well. So to do that, first off, I'm going to choose progress bars, and now again, I'm going to subdivide, and then I'm going to drag my progress bars below. Also, let's uh, let's move this up. So that's about more or less the size that I want. I'm going to get rid of the the tab that says properties because I know my properties live here so I don't need I don't need that tab whereas along here obviously I, it, I need the tabs and also I'm going to keep the tabs here in case I have more than one viewer but here I don't need the tabs so I'm going to go into that menu and I'm going to say don't show tabs and I'm also going to do that here don't show tabs and now we can see that I can make it a bit more like how I want it so to maximize the node graph I'm even going to collapse this down here like that so this is the layout that I want the viewer might seem a little small but if I want to see something in detail I can always just hit the space bar and that will maximize any pane and that's true of any pane so this is what I'm going to save and now, now if I want to save a layout I go up to this menu here and then I save so I'm going to choose to save this as layout 5 accept that save yes so now if I want to go back to the default uh, layout I can go up here and go to one so you can see that one is the default so restore layout one and that's the layout I had before and now I can use my hotkeys so if you remember I saved that as layout six so that would be shift f6 I mean layout five so that would be shift f5 and now I have my new layout 